Max Verstappen is furious at the FIA. Let's get started. Lance Stroll took pole position during qualifying, but the stewards were investigating him after the session. In the end, the race control decided not to penalize the Canadian. Max Verstappen reacted maturely to the ruling. The stewards had been busy on Saturday in Turkey. During qualifying, there was not only a surprising pole sitter, but plenty of other things happened on the track. Afterwards, several drivers were called to the stewards' office, including Lance Stroll, for ignoring yellow flags. The Canadian awarded a penalty, while Lando Norris got a grid penalty of 5 places for the same offense. A penalty for Stroll would be the only way for Max Verstappen to have gotten a pole position, despite the fact that he dominated most of the qualifying. Nevertheless, the Dutchman reacted maturely to the verdict. After qualifying, Verstappen was clearly disappointed in second place on the grid. Afterwards, he was squatting against a wall in the paddock and was comforted by an employee of Red Bull Racing. However, the situation did not improve for Verstappen or Red Bull as they had a dismal Turkish Grand Prix. With the second place on the grid and Mercedes cars in P6 and P9, he had a good chance to take his second win of the season. As the chaotic Istanbul weekend continued, fans were shocked this afternoon when the green light was given for Q2 while marshals were still removing Nicholas Latifi's Trigan Williams from the gravel trap at Turn 8. Echoes of Joe Bianchi's accident at the 2014 Japanese Grand Prix came to mind as cars made their way around the track in difficult conditions while a recovery crane was being removed after lifting the Williams to safety. Normally, officials at the scene of the incident keep race control informed of progress and this information is passed on to the race director, Michael Massey. It's understood that race control was informed that the recovery crane would be cleared by the time the first cars arrived at the scene. However, a problem navigating a gap in the barriers meant the crane was still at the rear of the runoff where Latifi's car had been. Whilst the cars were on the outlaps, the drivers were building up speed and trying to generate heat into the tires in conditions that had already witnessed a number of incidents. Lewis Hamilton described the Turkish Grand Prix track at Istanbul as terrible after his first qualifying flop of the year on Saturday as Racing Point's Lance Stroll, flourishing in the slippy conditions, secured the pole position. Defending and six-time world champion Lewis Hamilton, who bids to capture a record equaling seventh world title on Sunday's race, was only sixth in qualifying with his teammate Valtteri Bottas in ninth. The Finn is the only driver who can stop the Briton from taking the title again if he can outscore him by 8 points or more, but like Hamilton, he struggled in treacherous rain swept and low grip conditions. Stroll's success in gaining his first pole and Canada's first since Jack Villeneuve at the 1997 European Grand Prix on his way to winning the title ended Mercedes' run of 13 consecutive pole positions this season. Anyways, now it's time for meme of the day and here it is. Look at this little battle, Charles, Charles Leclerc. Leclerc locks up on Sergio Perez. He was trying a move to get second place in this race. Perez comes back at him. Sebastian Vettel comes back at Charles Leclerc. Sergio Perez, for the third time in his Formula One career, can see the second flag and take second place in a race. Sergio Perez on the podium. Sebastian Vettel is back on the podium. And Charles Leclerc, who had the podium in his sights, has to settle for fourth. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Apart from that, I hope you're an awesome day and um, bye bye.